Hi gang, Scott here. This is the next video in our series about blending modes in On One, both On One Photo Raw, On One Effects. You're using a standalone product, you're using a plugin, you've got blending modes, and they are useful in certain scenarios. And this is what this series is all about. If you haven't watched the introductory video, check the show notes. There's a playlist growing with all of the blending mode videos here. So you've got a one-stop shop to get all of the, the videos in this series. And uh, also, if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit, adding some of the professional plugins from On One, check the show notes, use my link down there, use my offer code, save you a little bit of money, won't cost you anything extra. It tosses me a little bit of support so I can do more videos like this. So luminosity, uh, what is that? You know, we hear this term a lot, luminosity, luminance, luminance range. It just means light, the brightness values of your pixels. And the luminosity blending mode adjusts brightness without affecting color. That's the key thing to remember. It will affect the brightness of pixels, but not affect the, the, the color of them. So the saturation, the hue, etc., isn't adjusted. So where can you use that? There's a few places, of it, the, the way I'll break it down for you is if you add a filter in effects or you add a layer and you're trying to do some type of blending and the colors are shifting more than you would like, try changing the blending mode to luminosity. And that is a kind of a good rule of thumb that you can think about when you might want to reach for this particular blending mode. Uh, I'm going to show you three different scenarios where I use luminosity and uh, they, they all are kind of variations on that theme. You know, the colors are shifting around a little bit too much. Let me change over to luminosity as the blending mode so I can get the impact that I want from the filter without the color shift. So, uh, so let's go. Let me start with this image here where I've done most of my work and I'd like to get a little bit more of a contrast pop. Uh, you know, this is a, a, a great place to photograph. Incidentally, if you want to come photograph this place with me in November of 2023, go check my website. Check the show notes. I'll put a link down there to the workshops page. Oregon Coastal Adventure. We're going to visit this spot on that workshop. Anyhow, I've done my work and I want to add a little more contrast and I tend to like to use curves as finishing touches for contrast because I have that control that I really want. Let me move that to the top of my filter stack there and let's say I just want to add you know a gentle S curve a little bit darker in the shadows and a little bit brighter in the upper midtones. I don't want to go too far because I got a lot of whites in here already. Now that's a pretty subtle curve before and after. But let's pay attention to what's going on up in the sky. And I'll put this kind of closer to the curves here so we really get a good look at it. Before and after. You notice the blues are shifting a little bit. You can even notice it more so at the horizon line. And that happens sometimes with adjustments. We adjust and we have a shift not only in tonality but also in color. Well, this is where luminosity can be helpful. So now I'll open up the blending options for the curves filter and change that to luminosity way down here at the bottom. And there was a subtle, subtle shift before, after. Let's make this more dramatic so we can really see the impact there. So here's this curve. We're doing luminosity. If I switch that to normal, look at the colors up there in those clouds. Normal luminosity, normal, luminosity, right? There is really a, um, a big shift here. One more time, this big patch of blue, normal, luminosity, normal, luminosity. So you get the luminosity blend mode will give you your shifts in brightness and in shadow without the shift in color. So that's the key thing. You see, uh, you apply a filter, you know, kind of like this we did with curves. This is a very strong curve. I wouldn't leave this here, but we see these pretty dramatic shifts in color in addition to contrast. Um, you know, I need to switch that over to luminosity and dial that back in. Oh, I was doing that with luminosity. One more time. We see these, you know, bigger shifts and the colors are changing as well. Switch that over to luminosity and you have less color shift. 
All right, so um, one other thing that we can use the luminosity blending mode for for contrast pop is, uh, and this one's a little, this one's a little interesting. It's using a black and white filter. You can use a black and white filter and switch its mode to luminosity and get an interesting contrast pop. And usually, this time we actually get a little bit of boost of color too, but it's it's a nice one. So um, so let me let me show you this technique. We'll use our same photo here. I'll add a black and white filter. And of course the photo becomes black and white. And now I don't want a black and white photo, but if we think about this in terms of luminance values, shadows and highlights, well, what do we see here? We have, you know, obviously the, the rocks are, are dark. Those are deep shadows. The trees are mid-tones. The surf is highlights. So we'll make this our best version of a black and white photo that we can. And you know, do some work with tone, maybe a little bit of contrast, boost the white some. Uh, let's see, detail, might even add a little bit more detail in. You know, really making this the best black and white that it can be on its own. And then switching the blending mode. So if we switch from normal to luminosity, we have, okay, it kind of looks the same. Uh, did, I, did I really see anything before? after it gets this extra pop and it tends to be just a little more interesting and a little different than say something with just dynamic contrast or a curve. I mean you saw I already have dynamic contrast applied here. I'm applying dynamic contrast to all my rocks already but that black and white is just finding additional things. You know even in the tree line you know before after it's really helping bring in some of that mid-ground and background detail. You know, not the most important part of the photo, but it does add to the story of it. So uh, so that's another way you can use luminosity as uh, this is another one of those finishing touches. Black and white, make the photo its best black and white you can. And oftentimes you can just do, you know, an auto color response and you're going to get a good result. Flip the mode to luminosity. Uh, one more use, and this is another of the, I see a color shift that I don't want. Let me change it to luminosity to rein that back in. Glow looks, there some of the darker glow looks in particular, tend to boost saturation in different areas of the photo in, um, in a less desirable way. You can use luminosity to pull them back in, get your glow without you know, blowing your colors uh, beyond where you'd like them. Let's have a look. We'll make this an Oregon themed uh, video here and another scene from uh, Sweet Creek in Oregon. And I've done my, I've finished my, my work on this. You can see I've got several different filters here, but let's, uh, let's unwind the whole stack and we'll pay attention to this glow look. I started this photo by adding a glow. So adding a glow and I chose this darker glow. And let's move this to the bottom of our stack here. So we have our two glows here. This is, uh, let's call this one here so we can get it open. There we go. Glow original, which is that darker glow. And it, that's a little bit strong for my taste, so I dial it back to some value. But look at the before and after, and especially pay attention to the leaves before and after. You know, they're getting very, very orange. You know, if I had this at full strength, it's just even more prominent before and after. And that's strong. That's uh, that's uh, that's that color shift kind of thing that I've been talking about in this video. Well, now let's take a look at the same glow look. We got what 51. Let's let's do apples to apples here. Glow original 51 exactly two and one. Okay. Versus this glow, I get the glow look. I have darker. I have overlay strong. Did I have that here too? Yes, I did. The difference is the blending mode, luminosity. Normal. Notice the colors are getting warmer in that foliage. Luminosity. Let's look at it at 100%. So you can really see the difference. Luminosity, we're kind of insulating from color shift. Normal. Those colors are boosting up. Now for this photo, for me, that was a little bit too much on the foliage, which is why I turned to the luminosity blending mode to protect from color shifts and just 
boost and play around with the luminance tones, the brightness or the shadows. That's what luminosity as a blending mode does. So I, I use it when I, I see those color shifts. That's the, that's the takeaway for the video, really. Take that away, tuck that in the you know, corner of your brain. Remember it the next time you're applying filters. If the colors are shifting too much and you're not looking to get that shift, try the luminosity blending mode. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you found it useful. And if you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.